Thus pharma company's stock went up by 500% in the past 3 days following an announcement. So should you buy? Sit tight as we answer that by going through recent news as well as my chart analysis and price prediction. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel Stocks 101 for regular stock market updates. Carla reported that the FDA has accepted its investigational new product application for its primary product candidate KPI-012 which is being developed for the treatment of persistent corneal epithelial defect which is a rare illness of delayed corneal risk. Repair. In the first quarter of 2023, the business intends to start a phase LLB research testing KPI-012 as a PCED treatment. Following the announcement of the news, the company's shares increased 33.4% in after hours trading on Tuesday and during the past year, the stock has fallen 93.3% while the industry as a whole has lost 22.8%. With all that in mind, let's analyze the charts. So as you guys can see right here, we're now in the one day chart for Kala. And as always, we'll first analyze the one day chart, then the one hour chart and turn it off to get the five minute chart. But right off the bat, we can see that we're up 47.5% of the pre-market to a price of $36.64. Now I did check up on the stock like a few minutes ago. Um, not exactly a few minutes ago, like half an hour ago. And at that time, we were trading around $40 or something. So again, that's great news. Now why is this stock so special in my opinion well first up we have to take a look at the volumes right we can see that we got close to non volumes when we were making such massive moves right and at the same time right now we're getting 50 million shares traded over here right we got 28 million shares traded over here on 29th december right that's even if we take an average of like um 15 dollars right that's still almost i believe 40 mil um 400 million dollars or something like that right and that is again a crazy amount of money being poured into the stock so what is going to happen today well first of course we'll have to address the gap up and the slight pullback that we might have gotten after getting a strong gap up right first up we all know that pullbacks are a part of every single bull trend out there there is no bull trend that goes without a pullback right now, if you see a stock going up and up and up and up, that is most likely being mal you know, manipulated and it's not probably a good um, idea to buy into such a stock. If you want to see if a stock is healthy or not, all you have to see is look for the trends, right? If you can see that it has maintained a trend for a, you know, a decent period of time, I'll probably say like a few weeks at least then you can be assured that, hey, you know, that stock is most likely not manipulated. But then again, you know, um, the markets are risky and at the same time, we have to consider all of these factors while looking for the perfect company to invest in. And, you know, I somewhat believe that Kala might be one of those companies, right? As you guys can see, a market cap of $37 million gives it a lot of room for growth. Now, even if we were to consider the pre-market price on the market cap it would still be like somewhere around 50 million dollars i believe it still gives a lot of room for growth it can easily go 10x 20x i believe such returns are possible and if we look at previous prices you know we can see that we definitely fell by a ton and you know the company over here at the top was valued at around 725 dollars per share which would value it at somewhere around i believe um a billion dollars i guess if i'm not wrong and that would of course you know if we were to reach that um, valuation again we would be setting at 20x gains from the current price which is again crazy and for those of you who bought it over here at four dollars you'll be probably setting at um gains of over like 100x or something like that which is again good for you all and at the same time now if we talk about some logic right if we talk about some common sense um i personally think that it is very much possible that the stock will touch a good height but at the same time we should not be all that optimistic because again if short sellers are involved which i'm pretty sure they are considering the fact that we went from 745 dollars to well 4.5 dollars right um i'm pretty sure that considering the previous scenarios that have just happened like mmtlp cosmos all of that stuff amc gme i personally believe that if the shorts were threatened they would most likely manipulate the market right and we do not want to see that happening that's why again i'll probably say that your best bet now of course this is not any sort of advice or something but i guess the best bet would be um to kind of publicize this before anything happens so you know everyone can see it and 
if any fraud or manipulation happens it can be caught red handed and now of course if you want to kind of get a stock to grow you of course need to get it to be popular right and at the same time if investors want the stock to grow they'll have to you know um, tweet about it they'll have to spread awareness about it they'll have to share videos like my you know the video that i made you can share it on twitter or you know with your friends or anywhere you like and at the same time now if you ask me am i bullish on kala at the current prices well you know what honestly i am right i personally am very bullish on the pharma sector in itself because considering the past few years i believe that pharma will be one of the best performing sectors of this decade right going from 2020 to 20, um, 2030 i believe pharma might be one of the best performing sectors now of course if we talk about a price prediction, I personally would expect, I won't be very optimistic. I'll just expect $100 by the time that, you know, um, by this time around next year, right? So that would give me 3x returns in one single year. And I'm personally happy with that, right? But at the same time, I do believe that if we were to, have, you know, hit $100, that would definitely flip the table for a lot of short sellers and then we might get a squeeze and then get some more buying volume some more squeeze some more buying volume and that way the stock might actually reach the old prices but with that being said we'll jump on into the one hour chart so we can see the stock in a bit more detail and now that we're in the one hour chart we'll have to do one quick thing and that is to switch it up to the extended trading hours so we can see over here as you guys can see i already told you we were at um 46 dollars on the pre-market which would indicate a rise of about a thousand percent right in the past two days and 16 hours but at the same time why did it fall right in my opinion it's just a normal pullback but considering the fact that we already got a pullback over here why did we get a gap up in the first place well i do believe that this is a good sign because it shows us that buyers are continuing to buy despite the fact that news has pretty much um I won't say disappeared but right um it has slowed down right the heat has slowed down and at the same time i do believe that over here the people who bought it over here have probably sold it around here and some will sell it over here but at the same time the um a majority or rather not a majority but 20 percent 30 percent probably it's um a decent minority will continue to hold on to these shares and those people will make it big in my opinion right and of course i do not um, trade the stock i do not hold any shares because as you guys already know that that would be basically unethical now at the same time we can see that we've started our next candle on the pre-market we are at 36.22 up 45.81 percent and with that data we'll jump on into the five minute chart so as you guys can see that we're now in the five minute chart and right over here we can see that on the pre-market we did build a rather sideways bearish trend, right? We can see that it's not entirely bearish, right? It's not like, you know, a pullback going down further, um, breather going down further, breather going down further. We did get a small recovery over here as well, right? It did go sideways as well. So this is not that bad of a sign, right? If we look at yesterday's performance, we can see that we got something similar in the aftermarket as well. So in my opinion, this again contributes to the fact that the stock might actually turn very bullish and of course well we got another green candle right even though that does not matter for long-term holders i personally think that today we likely continue to go up and why is that so well first up our first support after the you know where we ended the day at 24.84 would be 25 dollars of course which is well a resistance not a support i'm sorry for that then 28 would likely be another um, resistance right 30 would likely be another resistance and 32 then 35 right so we're already up by five resistance levels on the pre-market itself so in my opinion this is a great sign and this indicates that we might get a lot of volatility today right we can get a lot of volatility today and where will that volatility take us in my opinion it will definitely take us higher but at the same time you should always remember that this most definitely 
is not financial advice and you should always do your own research before you trade if however you enjoyed my analysis be sure to hit the like button if for some reason you did not enjoy it sure you can hit the dislike button you can subscribe to our channel stocks 101 for more such videos and as always i will see you guys in the next one